to Sci-Tai Tech and happy Valentine's Day. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an electronic Valentine's Day heart that you can pull apart and it has auto-changing RGB LEDs. Let's get started. And here are the items that you're going to need. Please ignore those needed dominium magnets because those are not used in this project. What is used is this 3 volt lithium button cell battery, button cell holder, not these magnets, and these auto changing RGB LEDs. So let's get started. And here is the auto changing RGB LED. As you can see inside there's a microcontroller that controls the different changes of the LED. When I attach this 3 volt battery, as you can see there is polarity, the LED will change into multiple different colors and different patterns as well. These LEDs are very interesting and very useful for this project. What you also need is a piece of cardboard and draw out a heart. The first one I drew wasn't very good, so I'm drawing out a second one that looks a little bit better. And there you have it. Now let's go ahead and cut that out. Now what I've done is I cut out the heart and I'm used a little sandpaper to smooth the edges. Now my RGB LEDs are ready to be glued onto the heart. I'm going to go ahead and arrange them like this and I'm going to go and glue them all in their correct orientation. Now I'm going to go and test each of these LEDs to make sure they all work and I know which side is the anode and which side is the cathode. Now I'm going to go and solder some black wires on all of the cathodes. And connect everything together. Now I have all of the red wires to connect to all of the anodes. Now I'm going to connect all of the anodes together. As you can see so far, I have everything connected in half. So I'm going to go ahead and test this one half to see everything's connected correctly. Ah, and there, everything on that half of the heart is working. Perfect. Thumbs up. All right, I see everything is working. Now I'm gonna go and do the exact same thing on the opposite side and make sure everything is all connected. And then I can proceed with the next thing I'm gonna do. There, everything is now all soldered into place. That half of the heart is now connected. Now I'm going to go ahead and test both sides to see if both sides light up. Ah, success! Both sides light up perfectly. Thumbs up again. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and take my Zacto knife and I'm going to cut the heart in half. There we go, now it's in half. Now I'm gonna go ahead and proceed on to the next step. I have right here my button cell battery holder, and I'm gonna go ahead and place it right there. And I have right here my jumper cables that has a male connection and a female connection. So that way I can plug them both together. That's the male and that's the female. Now 
Now I'm soldering one of the wires to one of the leads of the battery cell holder. Now soldering the second wire on the other lead of the battery cell holder. So now I have my wires soldered to the button cell battery holder. And I'm gonna go ahead and bend the wires just like this. Now I'm gonna take some hot glue and I'm gonna go and put glue on the bottom of the lead so that way they don't detach in case I pull too hard. That way they were insulated and protected. Now I'm gonna go and put some hot glue on the base of the bat battery button cell holder and I'm gonna go and place it And I'm gonna go ahead and place it right on this half heart here. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and connect a wire so I can estimate the length and how to position it so I can be able to connect it to the cathode part of the LEDs. There we go, soldered into place, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the anode part. I have to take out the battery so I don't burn out the battery. There we go, now that wire is soldered. Now connecting another wire to solder. Now I'm going to take my button cell battery and plug it in temporarily to see everything works. And there we go, it all works. Ah good, it works. Now I gotta fit everything into place. So that way I can be able to pull this part apart so that way it'll work. Glue the wires into place so that way they stay in more firm so there's not much wear and tear to minimize wear and tear. And there you have it. It is now complete. I insulated all those wires and I have all those wires glued on firmly. Now, let's go test it out. I have my button cell 3 volt battery, and there, it works perfectly. Nice. Now let's see what it looks like in the dark. Ah, it looks really nice. You can see all the colors of those RGB LEDs. Very nice. Alright, so now let's go ahead and pull it apart. And there, it works perfectly. 
Now I have two halves. This half and this half. Now you can give one half to your loved one and the other half to yourself. And then when you finally see each other, you can combine your hearts together as you two shall reunite once again. And when you reunite, your LEDs will light up. There. Now you are bonded together. And your love shall sparkle and glimmer. Alright, now as you can see, I have two of these pieces of cardboard and the Neo Dominion magnets. My idea was to connect those two pieces of cardboard on top and then connect the magnets so that way it'll just stick together. But I actually prefer it this way. It, to me, I think this is more unique and I like this style much better. If I put the cardboard on top, it will just cover it and then it will just simply uh, not show the interesting, unique effect. So I like it like this. This looks pretty nice to me. And there you have it, an electronic Valentine's Day heart. Happy Valentine's Day, and I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Sci-Tai Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.